What's up, man? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right, so what's going on today exactly? Um, I, I don't know. What do you mean? Well, I mean, I don't, so, me. well, I want to be, I just want to get it all out here because I only saw the five minute clip. And so I want to make sure like what, what all has transpired today, I guess. I just saw a clip with you and Nick and you, you were talking about deplatforming. My name was mentioned, uh, as what, that he was supporting me versus Medicare. So that means he's in fl- in favor of deplatforming. I, d- I don't know the point that you're making exactly, but I so just want to. There wanna... was a time period when you and Medicare were in big fights. And I think you and I think Nick were supporting the idea of like flagging all these guys and any channel that you could. I don't know that that's the case. The main impetus of that was me filing a DMCA against Flamenco, which was an accurate yeah, but DMCA. The, the DMCAs were to get channel shut down, right? That uh, was to stop him from live streaming my show concurrently with, with like, sniping my stream. That's what it was for. You fought a it DMCA was... against me in 2018. Hold on. If you want, do you want to go through? I mean, like, let's just do it. Yeah. Because I don't think, because you're trying, now you're giving a very measured, like, well, there was just the idea that, like, I wanted to prevent somebody from stealing. Like, that wasn't the case. You guys were all mad as fuck at each other, and you were trying to shut their shit down. I'm pretty sure I've watched clips of, like, Nick saying, like, yeah, let's flag all this stuff. Like, I don't Well, like I mean, I have flagging. you in chat, like, a few weeks ago trying to flag Keffels. I mean, there's quotes of you uh, telling your people, basically, suggesting that they should go flag. I mean, that was just, like, I don't know, 30 days ago. Sure. So... Do you want to compare Keffels to any other person on the internet? Well, I'm just saying, like, I mean, is your position, like, <laughs> strong or is it not? Because it doesn't if sound like it's very strong. If slurs on the title of their stream that they're going to do, uh, and my community's watching it, uh, I think that that's, like, a reportable thing. on. Okay, the well, then your position's not very strong then, Steve. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I mean, if, if you're willing to bend and report here and not report there, and it's okay here and it's not okay there, then you basically just lost the mm-hmm. argument. Okay. I'm not going to have Nick on my stream anymore, then, if that's what you think. Do you think well, okay, well, I mean, I think you should, but, I mean, play no, no, it out I'm then. I'm asking you. Do you think that, so, Keffel's relation to me was, Keffel's is trying to get me banned from Twitch. She's constantly, like, spreading lies and doing, like, insane shit about me. She's has misrepresented things so hard, she's trying to get my Wikipedia vandalized. And then she goes live on Twitch, about to do another slander stream that she bragged about getting me banned from, and then has literal slurs, like, in her I, fucking listen. title. Listen. And she's about to do things like I don't even know if I told people I don't know if I told people to report it or I just like it's obviously so fucking stupid what she's doing because she's breaking the TOS in like three different. You ways, said, oh, right? shit, I bet you could report her stream for ban evasion, actually, if she's featuring <clears throat> too much of my stuff. Sounds like a good report reason. Pepe laugh. Sure. Like she literally has a whole fucking picture slurs on the stream and she's about to do a whole stream while I'm banned from Twitch. Like it's it's there's By like the way, I don't care that you around. report. Her. I don't care that you're reporting Keffels. That does. That's not a thing that bothers me. Wait, then what's what's your issue? I'm just saying you're not consistent with what you're saying. I don't give a fuck who you report. Okay, I'll add <laughs> this rule then, I guess, if I really have to, right? If you try to kill me in real life, if you try to, like, aggressively fucking destroy my shit, if you're doing stuff like that, if I see you, like, obviously and intentionally breaking, like, three different rules on a platform, I might direct my community towards it. Okay, Maybe. well, you just, right. Flamenco, okay. you just described Flamenco. You just described Kiwi Farms. You just, just described, you know, the people I've the been up against. I, if you want to watch videos of that, and we can go over them on stream right now if you want to do that. What I saw were videos of you guys, or maybe it might have just been Nick Flintus, and like, oh, yeah, I don't like that dude. Flag all of his shit. Flag all of his shit. I've never told anybody to go mass report all of Keffel's stuff. I've never said, let's go through her YouTube channel and flag everything. Let's go through all of her blah, 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 and do that. Like, I was talking about that one Twitch stream, maybe some tweets that were, like, fucking bomb threats or whatever. But, like, the mass flagging campaigns are things that I don't think I really support or have sweat anymore. You know what? For Keffels, though, I might, just because she's literally a fucking internet terrorist. Right, I don't, but look, man, you don't have to justify it to me. I understand they got you taken down off Twitch. We talked about it in Dallas. I completely understand why you would want that person gone. Like, I mean, you don't have to convince me of, of why it's justified. I'm just saying, uh, yeah, you know, I've been up against the same. Like, oh, well, back in 2020, you were like pro deplatform. You were. Or whatever. I, I think, wasn't back then, wasn't my stance related to misinformation? I don't remember exactly, uh, but I remember you were on the show and somehow Nick getting banned or something or possibly getting banned came up and you were like, yeah, you know, I don't care. Right wingers should be banned, basically, that type of. I said right wingers should be banned. You said that Nazis, is- I think, is what you said, actually. Okay. Maybe Nazis. Um, <laughs> But I would have to go back and look. But like, well, the, I would the, too. The, I mean, it's been a few issue. years. The issue is that like, I can never trust what you guys say because you always misrepresent like fucking everything that I talk about. Because when you tell me that this happened in 2020, in 2019, I agreed to do a really public debate with Nick on Twitch. 
Like that only happened because I suggested and agreed to it. Like I could have shut that whole thing down until train. This isn't a good idea. We shouldn't do it. So I don't know why I would agree to do that debate in 2019 but if I, and hold on and then change in 2020 and say like, oh, like we did this. I support all deplatforming. The only thing that I was still kind of back and forth on in like 2020, probably up to 2021, was it was banning people that are like pro misinformation or whatever, like people that are blatantly lying about people. So like if you go on a stream, he's like, oh, that guy's a pedophile or a child rapist, or you just like blatantly lie about shit. I think that was generally what I was opposed to, but. But can't you see how this is not really like you're you're no, wavering here? You're, and you're, you're, you have like three brain cells, so in your mind, it's no, like, oh, you, you just lost right at the start oh, of the oh, show. No, like, I mean, my brain cells are more powerful than yours. I guess the alpha male just uh, is too potent. I don't know what's happened, but like your position is not strong at all. I mean, it's no, it's not a strong like binary like all yes or all no position. Like I agree. Like if somebody was going online and they were about to stream themselves like going on like a school shooting, I think you should probably ban that. I'm not necessarily opposed to YouTube's ban on um, like live firearms. I can understand why they'd probably be opposed to that. I don't. I don't think it's like either free speech absolutism or communist totalitarian fucking regimes. Like. I'm just saying, man, you're, you're not really you're not really making any sense. You're kind of zigging and zagging, and it seems to be a selective enforcement uh, with the deplatforming stance here. Okay, besides like Keffels, can you think of anybody that I've like tried to deplatform in the past like one or two years? That you've actively tried to deplatform? No, but can you tell me who I've actively tried to deplatform besides people in the same category as Keffels that have tried to destroy my life, who've lied about the death of my mother? Mm-hmm. Flamenco himself sent somebody to infiltrate the event that you were at with me. Um, you know, my fucking children are dogs. Like, Fuentes, what was the big argument between Fuentes and you and Medicare? Well, I mean, the Flamenco thing was part of it, the DMCA that I filed on Flamenco. Um, was it just that one that DMCA, was or was it like... I only filed one DMCA against him, if I recall correctly. Anybody can correct me, but yeah, I believe it was just the one, and he had been restreaming my stream for quite some time. I don't know if you know the DMCA tenants, but uh, one of them is trying to affect somebody's bottom line, trying to hurt their business, trying to affect their live stream viewership. Those are all things that make for a viable DMCA, and again, I mentioned this on Twitter, and I'm being a little smartass, but you filed a DMCA against me in 2018. If you want to argue against stuff that I've said or done in like like five years, well, okay, ago, it's part of the record, like, man. I'm just saying you DMC DMC me literally. Sure, I'm sure I have, but again, like, I'm, I'm sure you have too. Like, you DMC a lot of people now that I did five years ago. If you're the same okay, person, so, that's fine. But I'm not here no, to I'm not that, like, saying like you're, you're you're yeah. I'm not here to defend like pro, pro, 2018. I was probably pro deplatforming a lot more people. I know you were. You were. Yes, I know. That's what I'm saying. So for you to just now sit here and say, oh, well, Nick said this about somebody or was in a fight here. Now I can't talk to him anymore. Well, what if people had said that about you in 2018 or 2019? There probably were people that said that about me. Well, it but didn't seem to happen position. to you. But my position, my position doesn't change based on like who my friends are or who whatever is. Like these are just the positions I've had. I had one position five years ago. I've changed since then. I have like different views on like deplatforming. Now, is that because you've been deplatformed since then or... Um, I think I'd even been, had, wasn't my Twitter account already banned? I think then? so, maybe, yeah. But my stance on deplatforming changed before I got banned from Twitch. Wasn't I already talking with, um, fuck, I don't remember when I got banned from Twitch. Wasn't I already talking a little bit with, like, Nick and Lauren before I got banned? I don't think so. It was right around the time of the Kingpin, so it was, like, maybe late March or something like that. Um, yeah, maybe. You might have done one stream. I think maybe there was a politically provoked or something. I don't recall exactly. The whole oh, year. fuck. And even my DMC and you, I think, was related for misinformation. You said I was fucking under investigation for child porn. Well, you said the FBI came to your house. That's not what under investigation means. Well, that I mean, that's like in the eye of the beholder. And me saying the FBI is investigating well, you. Well, you know, maybe I took threats. a little bit of a liberty with the title there, but you're the one who said the FBI came by your house. I mean. But, yeah, if, so, if the police came by your house, would you say you were under investigation by I the mean, local police? If I was trying to make a sensational headline, that's probably what I would say, yeah. Um, I mean, it was a tabloid headline, but, I mean, the FBI did come by your house. You're the one who said that, like. I, do, you, do you not know what under investigation? Hey, look, means? I'm not quit. Look, I'm not here to argue about whether you're really. Sure, under I'm, not, I'm just trying to. Okay, <laughs> you brought up that I quote unquote DMCA you, did. you, and you made it sound like it was just because I hated her. But well, I, no, I, I didn't say no. Going on. No, you made it sound like that. I never said that. I never said it was because you hated me. I'm just saying you've employed the DMCA when you felt it was necessary. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> 
And so have I. Okay, wait, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, right? So Am I wrong? Mike like, I, I, I didn't know what you said. I was reading your article. Sorry, say that one more time. I'm sorry. I, s- I said you employ the DMCA when you feel it's necessary, and so have I. I have in the past, but I haven't recently. The so you, you disavow using DMCA. It was fucking Keffels. But like, I haven't DMCA'd anybody. I think the last set of, I did, I think, was around. It was either you or Sargon after John Tron, which was like four or five years ago. So you, you disavowed DMCA? Uh, generally, yeah. I disavow all my stances on deplatforming that are like... That's not deplatforming, Destiny. DMCA is not, not a deplatform. DMCA is People de-platform. are not just allowed to take your content if you don't allow them. It's the law. I don't know what when to tell we, you. When we wield DMCA, it's for purposes of deplatforming. Of course it is. I don't agree with that. What, you just let everybody steal your shit 24-7? Is that how it's going to be? I don't, I don't accept that. If I was restreaming and commenting on your stuff, would you DMCA me? Well, no. Because we're chill. That's right. That's so right. DMCA, Flamenco yeah, was doing it to DMCA harm my Flamenco. business. You're, hold on. You're not DMCAing Flamenco because you're genuinely threatened that he's like... No, uh, because like, he was... You, you, go ahead. Finish your thought. Yeah, you're doing it because you fucking hate him. <laughs> well, because he was trying to affect my bottom line, he was actually trying to suck viewers from my show and said that live on his air, that the, uh, on his airwaves. That's one of the tenets of a DMCA. This, I understand by law what you're saying. Yes. I'm just saying that the purposes of it are... To deplatform somebody. It's just, I wasn't trying to take his channel down altogether. I was trying to dissuade him from streaming my shit without my permission, which I seemingly have done. But, you know, I mean, that's not the same thing. I don't, I don't feel like that's the, a one-to-one right there. Okay. Well, I mean, we can disagree on that, but that's how I would feel. Like, if I were to just start okay. going through and DMCAing everybody commenting on my stream that I didn't like because they had my stream. Well, that's, not what, that's not what happened. He was literally just restreaming my entire stream, set up to go when it would start, set up to end when it would end. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't just he was flipping over and tuning into my Wait, stream. Wait, he had, like, an AFK channel, like, just restreaming He was there was on – now, he was there, but what I'm saying is it was for the express purpose of harming my business taking my viewers away, hitting my money. And he said this on air. And by the way, these same people, his fans, I, you know, I can't pin him out directly, but they have reported me. They have tried to get me kicked off payment processors, all these Kiwi Farms motherfuckers, all these people. So for them to sit here and talk about deplatforming and to make that like a wine-worthy issue, it's like, well, that's their whole ball ballgame. Uh, you just barely throw a punch to kind of, you know, Keep them from bowling you over, and now all of a sudden you're Mr. D platforming. I don't think that that's fair. Um, I, I would have to dig more into your specific back okay. and forth. If you're telling me that Flamenco himself was like involved in like trying to like get you blacklisted from credit card processors or doing shit like that, then I'm like a little bit more sympathetic. Sure. Um, are you telling me that that's what Flamenco I'm saying this whole in? their whole push? I can't you know, I don't have the smoking gun to say he was personally doing that or his DMs or his. I have no doubt that he probably was, but, you know, I don't have the the smoking gun. But what I'm saying is that's what their whole push is. Right. Like that's the whole that's the whole impetus. They've been trying to shut me down for years. Like, I mean, it's. Literally, if you go to Kiwi Farms, there's post after post of people trying to take me out, trying to find my house, trying to hunt me down on, on vacation. I mean, it's, it's insane. And this is the audience he was catering to explicitly. And that's what he was doing with his streams to try to, to harm my streams. So, like, I don't oh, feel fuck. that that's too Um uh, if we wanted to set up a panelist, we could, but I've got like 30 people DMing me telling me that you're like, you're misrepresenting literally all of this. And people in my chat are spamming. Well, I'm just talking to you one to one. I don't have anybody. Well, I know, me. but like the facts of the matter here are going to be like pretty particular because if like Flamenco himself is like calling and trying to get you blacklisted from credit card people and it's doing this shit. And then you're like, fuck you. I'm DM- DMCAing him. Like I'd say like, it's pretty shitty when we throw out like the deep platform shit. But like, if he's doing all that, then I don't give a fuck at that point. If you're trying to DMCA, I'm like fucking go for it, dude. Who the fuck cares? That would be like a, like a Keffels to me. Like Jesus, like I'm not going to say to defend that person or whatever. But um, if but if these are all lies and you're just like, oh, well, I'm going to try to get this guy banned because they don't like me. I think that's a fundamentally different type of thing. Well, that's but, not what I was trying to do, matter, because if what? I was, I would have filed like 30 DMCA's on his whole fucking channel. Like, I mean, that's not what I did. I filed a very specific one and told okay, him to sure. stop streaming just, my shit. Your original tweet about me was that I well, personally advocated deplatforming right wingers in 2020. I mean, you I did. I don't I think I said in 2020, I think my stance was related to people that intentionally spread misinformation. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean? Do you see how that's a little uh, 
and it's not meant as an insult. It's just a description, a little weaselly, right? Like because that's like okay, well, a misinformation. Well, I mean, that's a pretty broad category, and it's also in the eye of the beholder, right? Yeah, like, I literally said as much. So back then, I would say that like I think like deep platforming specific cases of misinformation, I think I'm okay with. But I understand that that's a really difficult thing to do, obviously because different people disagree on what misinformation is, and that's why eventually I rolled over on that position completely. And that's why today I'm like, ah, eh, fuck it. Even for misinformation, I don't know if you can deep platform it, like because it seems like everything is so contentious about what is real or what isn't real these days so it ends up being really politically biased but that's like you're, you're tracing like the evolution of that thought over time but regardless people can change their mind i don't right wingers it gives a very specific connotation of like he just wanted to get rid of like hate speech or conservatives or whatever but that's never been the case and i fought a ton with left-leaning people that propagate misinformation too over kyle rittenhouse over brianna taylor over the blm stuff like I, like i fight with left-wingers about misinformation almost as much or more over the past two or three years as i have with right-wingers I know for a fact you specifically were talking about taking out Nazis, quote unquote, on my show. Now, I'm not saying. Uh, it might have been in that specific instance because we were talking to Fuentes, but like you agree that I've fought a ton of. Sure, and men, you can change your mind. That's not what I'm saying, right? Like, I completely accept that. All I'm saying is these things happened. You still don't really have that strong of a position on it to this day, um, in my opinion. And now sure, you're like, oh, I can't talk to really Nick. Like, I don't know. I, I didn't see the whole conversation earlier, so I don't know sure, how that really went. But. It's a really challenging topic, right? It's a, there's a lot of so, stuff yeah. to get into related to it. Um, and I probably don't have the most powerful ironed out position on it. But today, based on my actions and not like clips or tweets, it's pretty obvious that my positions on platforming have significantly changed. Where I'm hosting conversations, multiple conversations with Lauren Southern, where I'm hosting multiple conversations and real life events with Nick Fuentes. Like, it's pretty obvious that my positions have changed and evolved really substantially over this. But then when you're like, oh, well, you've done all this, but what about this thing you said in 2020? It's like, what the fuck is the point of even Well, I came in hot because I just felt like this is kind of just uh, what I call it, lame. I think that's what I said on Twitter. It's like, what? Do, why are you? Why, why would you stop talking to Nick? Like, I mean, I don't know. It just doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Well, the um, issue that I had, the scary thing was that I started to associate with his community, and then I got into a big disagreement with one of my friends over how to associate that with that community, and then I saw that that community go hard on my friend, and it looks like they did like spam reporting shit to get his shit taken down. So if that's the case, like that represents like a pretty big conflict of interest for me. Do you agree? Like that's a pretty big deal. Well, I could see that causing, you know, I could see Mr. Girl being pissed or, or whatever, but I'm not, I'm not talking about Mr. Girl, even just me. Like what if, what if I, what if I had another stream with another friend and they got taken out by the Groypers? Like, are they going to, but did he really get expression? taken out by the Groypers? Because this guy has, has like songs to pedophilia, odes to pedophilia on his channel and stuff. Yeah, like, I mean, it's like two or three a lot years. of people hate this guy, dude. Like, I mean, literally well, almost no, everyone. They've been on his channel for years, and he just I'm got just reported when he started having big conversations with me about the Gripers, and the Gripers are all watching his videos on their channels. I can see that. Like, it's pretty obvious what's happening, right? Yeah, but there's a lot. He's been taken down before. There's a lot of people who do not like him. He's universally reviled as a pedophile in my audience and in most corners of the internet, except for your audience, basically. Uh, and so it's like, um, I mean, could it have been? Yeah, I don't know. But it's like, well, it could have also been a lot of different other uh, possibilities yeah, I'm gonna there. Go but come on, why are you treating me like a retard? We I'm not. I'm just right? being honest. Like, I mean, he literally is kind of reviled. Like, if I you, mean, if you got into a huge fight with a big community and the next day all of your shit was like reported and banned, would you be like, oh, man, I wonder if Medicare did that? Or I wonder if someone like, no, you'd be like, oh, shit, is the community I just fought with obviously spam reporting my shit? We all know that's how that works, right? It could be. I don't know. I don't know the whole ins and outs of that. I don't even sure. like. I wasn't talking about yeah. probabilistically. Right. Probably like pretty likely that it was the community that was just. I'm just saying this. Show. This guy's like. First off, he could have just taken down those videos. Would probably would have been the smart thing. Um, if you would ask me. Why? Well, I'm just saying like on YouTube like two or three years. Yeah, but it's like, okay, I, I'll, I'll tell you my little story about Mr. Girl. Sure. Uh, he he came onto my show and we and we got along pretty good and set up some debates and then he started getting a big head. And he literally told me in my DMs that he had too big of an audience now, and he didn't need the kill stream anymore, and he didn't need this and that. Literally, like, the biggest ego I think I've ever seen out of anybody online. Did he actually say this? Yes, he literally said this. Yeah, I'm not kidding. No, he literally said this. He's like, my audience is too big now, and uh, I can't put it at risk. I'll have to go back and quote it. I can send you the screen caps if you'd like. Uh, okay, if you're saying, like, I can't put it at risk, that sounds like a different type of conversation. I, you know what? Like I can just read it off if you want, but... Yeah, it was like a big headed, like, I don't need the kill stream now. I can't put my audience, I can't put my stuff at risk. Or he did mention that. Uh, okay. But it's like, 
Uh, okay, well, you know what puts your fucking audience at risk? Put your operation at risk? Your fucking songs to pedophilia on your channel. Maybe you should have taken those down. That would have been a good way to maybe protect things instead of worrying about showing up on the kill stream. Uh, it's just like those are just well, I mean, juicy these, targets these out there, like, right? Like, these have, like, millions of views, like, all together. They've been up for years. Why would you just start preemptively taking them down? Well, I don't know. I'm just saying I would have definitely considered that. I'm not saying that that's, like, I'm not victim blaming, but I'm also saying, like, if you're smart, uh, maybe, you know, he claimed he was this big guy and he'd got all this publicity and now he was big man on campus it's like well okay well do you even need those anymore maybe you could just put those at least unlist them or or be smart about it um it just seemed not that bright if you ask me okay. and i can find the by the way let me see if i can find because i don't want to miss people in my chat are saying that max did say something like that so he did that's what i'm happened. saying like i'm not making it up no he literally said mm -hmm. that yeah uh, he didn't need the kill stream anymore and, blah, 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 blah. and it's like okay well fine and then he tried to big dog me on my own show, and I kicked him off the air. Uh, but, yeah, and the reason why is because we had already had an argument in DS where he's like, I'm, I'm bigger than the kill stream, and da da da, da. It's like, okay, well, you may be, but, like, we still have certain, you know, rules and decorum on the show. Uh, I've never seen you do that. You've been on the show a million times. Uh, mm -hmm. And even when you were getting ready to leave versus Alex Stein, you, you didn't just leave, or you didn't just – raise a you know a super fuss you're like okay i'm done. you know this is over let's let's get the last call in or, or whatever uh whereas okay. he took a completely different uh mindset and so if you're asking me if i have a lot of sympathy for this guy i don't really he's kind of a fucking asshole um uh, but you know I'm, I'm not saying it's good that it happened but it's like this guy's a fucking prick uh a lot some of people, people hate him saying, i'm getting this i'm just reading the different messages so i can see get a full view of what's going on some people are saying that Part of the reason why he was scared about going back on the stream and he was mentioning how big he was getting was because um, a lot of people were donating, like, racial slurs and trying to come on and say, like, slurs and shit on the stream or anti-Semitic remarks. Was that true or? So there was one stream where that – there was a couple issues where he didn't want a super chat being played or he was worried about getting banned. And then on the Richard Spencer stream, we had, like – it was, like, I don't know, a two-hour debate uh, or discussion or whatever – uh, and then I can't remember, I had agreed not to play Super Chats over the air, which is, you know, me making a concession. Uh, and I forget what it was. I don't know if it was a, a question or, or, no, it was a caller. It was callers because I didn't agree not to have callers. Um, so there were like one or two callers and they were hostile, obviously, because people, I mean, they don't like this guy. I don't know what to say. And so then he got pissy and said, oh, I don't need this. And he'd already gotten what he wanted. He'd already gotten the discussion with Richard Spencer. And so now he's just going to leave. It's like, well, okay, I set up this debate. This is part of my show. You agreed to do it. You got what you wanted. And now you're just leaving. Like, I mean, I don't respect that. So, uh, that's how we had the falling out. But, uh, Again, I don't want him to lose his channel, but I, can't, I did laugh a little bit because I was like, well, this guy's a complete prick to me. Uh, and so, I don't know. It didn't break my heart, but he's an asshole. Okay. Um, anyway, I don't think you should. I don't think I, I like the stuff you've done with Nick. Of course, I'm biased. It is what it is, but I don't, I don't see this as a, as a reason to, like, not talk to anybody or, or something like that. I don't know what all was said earlier, by the way, or what decision you came to or, or whatever I, like i just jumped in after hearing my name in a clip uh so that's that's my whole point of reference there okay that's cool all right well i appreciate it well Have thank fun. you be careful thank you brother i appreciate it where are you at now uh i'm in parts unknown i, <laughs> I won't say that uh because are like, kiwi farms honestly? are trying to find me if you want to know the truth about it so they can swat me and send fuckers to my house and fuck with my truck and all that kind of stuff so uh yeah that's why i'm not telling people where i'm at so that's another one of those things that i was talking about earlier the great kiwi farms Mm -hmm. uh, those great defenders of free speech who deserve every defense uh, are trying Damn. to fuck up my life on the daily. So, are you uh, Team Keffels now? Is she your favorite person? She got on <laughs> uh, I won't say my favorite person. I definitely uh, laughed about uh, what Keffels did to Kiwi Farms, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, hey, listen. Stay safe, buddy. Thank you, man. You stay safe too. I think it was a good conversation. Yeah. I appreciate you having yeah. me on. I love you. Have fun. Peace out. You too, brother. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.